Sim, é That is the thing, é, of course. É. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you people. Uh, when I pick up it, I try. I'm not doing what I'm doing. I'm not Basically, come and recombe uh, It was cool. It was nice and it was it, it, actually ni kitu ambacho nilikuwa na enjoy kufanya. Oh. The thing too gumu yake ni kwamba uh, ilikuwa ni double role kwa maana kama bado ucheza huko na huko and then time inakwenda and then kuna vitu lazima ukariri ushike ndio utakapokuwa huko unasema nini unakuja kumaliza nini ukija kule unabidi ujijibu mwenyewe. Hivyo oh. kwa hiyo ilikuwa kidogo hicho sawa maneno. Haikuwa rahisi sana kusahau kwa sababu unakuwa mm. unajipanga. Unajua ukifanya kitu kama kile like you need to have it from inside kuna shukuru Mungu kwamba niliweza kusimama vizuri lakini plus the team work pia mm. watu tunafanya nao kazi pale kampuni ya pilipili they treat us like family we do it like family like a crew kwa hiyo tunakumbushana tunabebana na mtu kama hivi apart from doing series see any kind of single movie ambao she kuifanya and the difference between single movies and series how well uh, upande wangu mimi nimeshafanya movies nyingi pia uh, kuna movie ambayo ilo nitambulisha rasmi ikanifanya nionekane iwe ndo kibajaji ambayo nilifanya na Mboto na Irene Boy ndo ambao movie ilienda sana na watu walinipenda yeah, I remember na ijua nikumbuka lakini pia nimefanya mlango wa kifo nimefanya uh, nipe nikupe nimefanya uh, mama ntilie nyingi nyingi na series pia nimefanya so hiyo tu ya guru nimefanya duty pia una yeah. uh, kitu ambacho naweza kusema kwa my opinion okay mimi napendelea film sana kuliko series no kwa sababu series kwanza na take time alafu kitu ambacho kinakufanya unabakia kwenye muonekano mmoja kwa muda mrefu kitu ambacho mimi kikweli wa siki entertain mimi napenda kumaliza leo inyewe mtu fulani kesho nimekuwa mtu fulani kesho kwa ni like yeah, sure. una explore ile fani yako okay. leo umekuwa mchungaji kesho umekuwa shehe kesho kuto umekuwa polisi kesho kuto umekuwa jambazi kesho umekuwa mkuu wa mkoa kesho hivyo yani unajua unabadilika badilika so unapata time ya ku explore talent sasa bwana David uki, ukitoa sanaa ni kitu gani tena unafanya nje ya sanaa hakuna mimi nafanya sanaa tu unafanya so sanaa ni ndio inaendesha maisha yes nafanya sana actually nafanya sana nyingi sana nyingi ukimaanisha nikimaanisha kwamba naigiza naimba pia really yes nachora pia oh so ni kichukua peni na ka, i mean karatas na peni hapo unanichora even live no kuchora kuna no kuchora kuna aina nyingi kuna mtu anaweza akachora cartoons anaweza akachora majumba akachora matunda lakini akashindwa kuchora yeye perfectly kama so unachora nini mimi mwaga mara nyingi nafanya nachoraga cartoons naweza nikachora Um, mazingira environmental staffs kama bustan bustan sijui matunda matunda njiwa njiwa ndege ndege nini hivyo yani inakuja wasanii wengi wanaoigiza lazima wawe wawe wana muziki yani wakajikite katika tasnia muziki kwani ina maana soko la kuigiza halina mashiko au inakuja no mimi nafikiri uh, sijui kwa watu wengine lakini kwa mimi mm. it's just una feel you have something inside you just bring it out Okay. I mean, feel kwamba inafika point una feel naweza kuimba and unajaribu kuimba na watu ambao wanakusunguka wanakuambia dai so kwamba soko la kuigiza halina mashiko halina malipo hapana so kweli sijui kwa watu wengine la kwa mimi so kweli mimi nafanya movies nafanya music just because i can do it sikio kwanza kuingia studio ili so najua kuigiza utakuwa ushazoea camera ile ku record na kujisikia yani unajisikia kabisa okay this is david ambao mimi ninaimba hii ndo sauti yangu how was it uh, cha kwanza ilikuwa ili ilileta ili, ili, ili fulani kwa sababu unajua uh, unapofanya nyumbani mazoezi hata ukaimba juu ya beat ukiwa nyumbani 
it's totally different na kitu kilikuwa kimeshafanywa final kiweko kwenye masikio ya watu alright so now ile nakupa kwanza pa wao kusema kwamba okay kumbe you can do the best kwa sababu unapona umeweza ku manage kukaa kwenye mziki, kwenye beats na watu wakasifia and inakupa sasa ile moyo kwamba oh yeah kumbe nina manage ninaweza kufanya so hiyo ilikuwa ya kwanza pride uh, for pili kanipa tena uhakika kuendelea kuandika na kufanya music oh Kini... naandika mwenyewe na unaingia yeah naandika mwenyewe sasa sambo tunaandika music mashairi tutakula wapi kama unaandika na unaimba tena mimi naamini msanii lazima uwe na vitu from inside huwezi okay. kuwa una you express yes yes kwa sababu unapokuwa msanii manake you have the message to deliver to the society That's so true. how you deliver the messages pia ni talent yako okay. naweza ka deliver it through acting naweza ka deliver it through singing naweza mm-hmm. deliver it through drawing hivyo kwa hiyo kama it's within you actually unaona vitu vinatoka tu the details natoka tu unafanya kwa mimi naandika na nikwambia sio kuandika tu mimi wa actually nyumbani na program FL okay. ambayo inatengeneza beats so nachokifanya organ i know my own beats kwa hiyo naweza nikagonga beat yangu mwenyewe japokuwa sio professionally lakini you here you know kwamba najua hapa inabidi ipigwe guitar hapa inabidi ipigwe kick hapa ipigwe snare na nyimbo yangu nifanye hivi hapa ni verse kwanza hapa ni chorus hapa ni bridge then nikimaliza ile inakuwa ni demo and then i send it to the producer kupitia whatsapp and then producer anaenda sana gonga the original thing and then you come over and find Mr David yes ile siku ya kwanza uhuru inaonyeshwa katika televisions mm. actually uka post on your social media instagram mm. ukiulikutana uki, 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 na comment inayosema kwamba haujui kuingiza au haujafit hiyo character uliokupa ulijisikia yani what i'm trying to say ni kwamba zile comments mbaya mbaya zile ukikutana nazo wewe kama person sasa hapo umetoka kwenye kuigiza ukawa kama David na katika jamii ukaona i say mbona Instagram wame comment hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi kusana na mimi unajisikiaje na unapokeaje na una yakabiliana vipi na okay cha kwanza nashukuru Mungu kwamba sijawahi kukutana na comment ambazo zinawahi kunikatisha kama Oh. It always like you don't believe you and you are the best to power oh. tisha na nini though kuna watu wengi unajua uh, unapofanya hiki kitu niwaambie watu wengi hata niwaambie wasanii pia mm-hmm. kuna watu wanafikiri wanaweza kaifurahisha dunia nzima you might be the best lakini like, mtu asikuelewe umeelewa kwa sababu kila mtu ana test yake ndio maana unakuta sometimes hata ukiangalia soda zile mm-hmm. unakoka na pepsi zinafanana lakini different na ladha tofauti kama sasa na kunywa mimi na yeah you get my point okay. kwa hizo ni soda na ni nzuri lakini kuna mmoja apendi coca na apenda pepsi kuna mwingine apendi pepsi na apenda coca you know mm. kwa hiyo uh, it's not about kumu entertain na ukamuonyesha kila mtu and you think kila mtu atakuwa you are the best lakini issue ni kwamba kuna mwingine hata ufanyeje yani hata ubebe dunia yani hata ufanyeje yani anaweza sikuelewe mm. kwa sababu kuna mwingine unaweza hata usifanye hata kitu kikubwa yani ukakaa hapa hiyo kitu liga kuelewa yana kama ajamaa huyu kwa mfano nda pastori moja okay. kuna kitu kile kutokea ga kwenye kwenye kuna hiyo story samani lakini wachaga kwa sababu ni story na hausu right. e, kuna jamaa watu walikuwa wanapiga story za mpira sasa walikuwa okay. wanapiga story za mpira wakawa wanataja wala wacheza mpira ambao wanawapenda sasa mm-hmm. huyu mjamaa kama amekaa bila sababu aisee jamani kali zangu hii amjelewa mimi na mna mtu nampenda kama faranje moshi sasa hizo faranje moshi anacheza na ani hajawahi kuingia huko sasa anakujaga pale anakaa pale bench faranje moshi yani ukimuona anapotembea na ile sweta yake yani ile ya zile kapa yani anapoka kila pose hivi faranje moshi anaona ni mcheza mpira kweli kweli na hajaicheza hajawahi cheza kwa hiyo ninaje kwamba kwamba yani kuna mtu anaweza toka kuona tu hivi yani wewe hata ukatabasamu hata uje kama moja haya kaona uko sawa kwa hiyo uh, issue is not to impress kila mtu lakini uh, point ni kwamba inapotokea watu wengi wakakupoint kwamba bwana hiki kitu umekosea then there is something wrong about it. Kwa okay. mara nyingi watu wapenda kumesha. Unapofanya kitu wangapi and you see watu wangapi wanasema unajua wangapi wanasema unajui. Mm-hmm. So ikitokea watu wengi wanasema unajua that means unajua. Wachache wakisema hujui then is trouble sana though pia unaweza kufuatilia ukaamua mteke na yeye ujue ilikuwa side gani. Kwa hiyo na kitu kimoja sometimes. Nikionaga mtu ame, ame crush kwa sababu uh, when we do Uh, kila kama ni kwa mtu ana mapenzi yake kwa mimi naenda namfuata mtu DM kwa sababu kujifunza ni kuona yule ambaye amekwambia anaisi hauko sawa lazima ujue hauko sawa kwa hiyo ipi kwa basically ndio bwana imejenga utaratibu mimi waga najibu DM za watu wote na conference of course i used to be kwa hivyo oh, okay. kwa hiyo that's opportunity najibu 
Basically wanakuwa ni tofauti tofauti. Okay. Yes, tofauti. Lakini uh, basically inajulikana as when you become a male artist, mm-hmm. female artist ndo, yani female uh, fans. audience of fans ndo wanakuwa yani audience ndo wanakuwa fans wako sana kuliko males and then the vice versa. So oh, speaking of DMs ya. So tambo na wanaongelea masuala ya movies, kuna watu ambao wache kutaka, kuna watu ambao wache mba lunch na wewe mm-hmm. dinner mm-hmm. vyote vile mm-hmm. mpo na una any like una wa entertain vipi sasa mimi hapa Yvonne nimekuja ku DM pale jamani ni kilala ana kuota nini nini una nijibuji mimi kama mimi ili nisiumie moyo i know na unaenda direct to the point jibu, uh, jibu jibu waga ni jibu tu like okay. as long as linatoka kwa kwa na umefeel kumpa jibu mtu na namna fulani. Na basically unapokuwa msanii lazima utambue falsafa moja kwamba you become an image an icon. Watu wanakuona pale and sometimes unachoki perform kinawafanya watu waingie to really feeling na wewe. Unaweza kwa unacheza simi labda za hisia mtu akaisi ndivyo ulivyo kwa sababu watu wengi audience wengi wao wanaamini vile wanavyokuona kwa TV. Most of the time ndivyo ulivyo, you know. Kwa hiyo sisi kama wasanii tuna 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 tuna, tuna, tuna uh, isho moja kubwa ambayo inabidi tufanye kujaribu kuwaweka watu sawa waelewe. So uh, sio sio crime, sio dhambi mtu kukufuata kukwambia bwana mimi nakuota si bali. Mm. Au bwana mimi unanichanganya hivi na hivi. It's not a crime kwa sababu it's a feeling. Kwa unachotakiwa kukifanya ni nini like uh, the way mimi ninavyofanya. Okay. It's like uh, mtu yule anakufahamu kwa mbali. Mm. Kwa hiyo jaribu kumweleza kwamba bwana kwa nini? Yaani you need to know how and why mtu atakwambia tu bwana sometimes is the way you perform the way you unapoka close na watu the way you unapo deliver your lines na nini na nini mm-hmm. but like that's just a thing in my real life mimi mimi na mom like that kwaona mfanya mtu anaelewa okay ndio she kufanya lunch na fans wako at least atakuwa mimi sana oh and inakuwa ina wengi kwanza is the moment unaojua kama unakubalika okay. you know mtu anapotokea from noya akazungumza na akakaribisha and then go out for lunch una 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 unaona ile happiness ya mtu unaona vile mtu anavyojisikia anavyo ku treat unajua and that is the way unavyojua kama kazi yako inapanda au inashuka watu wanaku accept or they don't accept if you don't deal with the audiences you won't know wewe uko wapi so to me vigil kigezo kwa kuwa you are a star na ku kwa umiza wa dada zetu i say ungakuta hizo kwenye magazeti mengi sana maskendo hivyo lakini nashukuru Mungu na miaka mingi si na hiyo kitu Of course I don't say I don't date people. Okay. You you, you date people. Are you dating your you date is about feeling. Kwa sometimes unaweza unaweza ka date na mtu kwa sababu ile unajua mkisha ingia kwenye kwenye swala la la, la, la relationship ina ina inatoa whatever was in the back. Mm. Na inaweza kama mtu alikuwa shabiki and then ukamuelewa akuelewa and then ukaanza ku date. Inaweza kama mtu alikuwa star mwanzio kakutana and then mkaelewana mkaingia kwenye hisia mkadate so hai hai jamii unapita kare yako unasikia wasanii wanajishaua yani wasanii yeah, 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 yeah. yani mm. something like that hivi unaji unasikia yani ukishasikia mtu kama huyo una una, una wish umfanyaje uh, first of all unajua uh, mimi nimejifunza kukubaliana kwa kweli mm. i'm dealing with facts la mtu akianza kusema msanii anajishaua lazima ujiulize kwa nini amesema okay So uh, tukiongea in, in a real story in a real fact ni kweli wasanii wengi wanajishaua it is there and it's written it is it na uwezo kubadilisha mwenye ndio vyote jamii mtu anabadilika like kwa mfano nikwambie hiyo scenario ambayo mimi nafanya mm. like mtu ananifuata dm anakwambia hey, hi unamwambia hello kwanza anashtuka anaanza kuuliza bana are you the real you yani wewe ndio yule Faridi ambaye namuona kwenye huru umetumia tu picha zake kwao tayari nakupa jibu kwamba kumbe kuna watu wa class fulani mkishafika kuwa mwezi ku respond au kuzungumza na fans wenu au audience oh. kwao ile kutoa jibu na then baadaye ukimuuliza wewe kwa nini unahisi hivyo me i'm the real person anamwambia ah nyi watu waga mjibugi message za wa fans wenu na nini kwa anambia no mimi mimi is different kwamba mimi weka mashabiki yangu mimi natengeneza bidhaa yangu ikufikie wewe kwa wewe una kila sababu ya kuongea na mimi so labda hilo nitumie tu kuambia wasanii wenzangu pia waelewe 
kwamba whatever we do we do it for the audience we do it for the fans so at least we we want to have a time fans wa ku, ya kujua kwa sababu wao ndio wanajudge wao ndio wanajudge kile tunachokifanya huwezi jua kama umefanya kitu kizuri kama fan hajakwambia okay yeah ukisikia neno rushwa kwa kwa imekajikaje rushwa unatokea unakuu yani tokea unazaliwa unakuwa mpaka hapo ulipofika ushatoa mara ngapi rushwa mimi honest Ah okay. Uh, rushwa maana yake mimi ukiniuliza ni tunasema wengine uh, we, we call it hongo yani unajaribu ku, 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 kumtimizia mtu haja yake fulani kinyume na sheria una taratibu okay. ili na wewe uweze kupata haja yako fulani. Mm. Yeah. So it may happen mara nyingi tu. Oh, yes, mara nyingi sana. If that's the case, mara nyingi sana. Unatoa unajua kutoa rushwa sometimes uh, Uh, sio ku sio ku nisemeje yani sio kwa sababu tu wewe unataka kitu fulani mm. sometimes pia wewe unapokea unajua ukipokea rushwa pia no. it's the same unaelewa mm. and sometimes rushwa pia sio kwamba tu the amount of cash mm. rushwa naweza kaa pia hata time yako unajua okay. ya yeah, una oh, kujua hiyo yes rushwa naweza kaa hata time yako kwa mfano mm. unapo unapotoka leo ukasikia kwamba bwana uh, Yvonne for example wewe ni, 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 ni producer mkubwa and i am an actor mm-hmm. and then ukakuta kwamba Yvonne uh, unataka cast watu katika project fulani and mimi nikaanza kusema na huyu Yvonne anapatikana maeneo gani nikaanza kuanza ku, ku, ku roam around pale hapo nakupa rushwa you just don't know oh. trying to take over your weaknesses madhaifu mm-hmm. yako nikakava pale mm-hmm. na, kuta, na kutengenezea uni notice kwamba i am somebody ya Beneza yes nika kule eh bwana wewe you know producer bwana kuna asas hapa you come drink okay. eh, kuna matunda hapa they put you good and you guys you know that you know when I was jamaa mbona anakea sana bwana nini habana mimi hata bwana anasikia ni producer you know that is also rushwa kwa sababu hata wewe kesho na kesho kutokianza project yako mtu wa kwanza kumfikiria atakuwa huyu ambaye anapoteza time around you yeah ni kupe tu kama dakika kadhaa kuongea na audience my fans mm. chochote unachonisikia kuambia kwa shauri na sasa hivi tupo katika hii covid 19 talk to your fans bana fans mambo vipi uh, first of all me uh, the best thing ya kwanza ambayo ningependa kuambia ni kwamba nawapenda sana and uh, naelewa na, na sana uwepo wenu na nauthamini pia okay and uh, i will always i always be uh, trying to be the best ambao naweza kuwa kwenu and uh, speaking of uh, hopeful na nini because sijui kwa wengine lakini mimi tafadhali please msini mbope msini ofie mm. my account instagram account sana facebook nowadays sipo ila ni kwa instagram account and pale ukisema tu like uh, t there underscore tz underscore tiger umenipata zaidi yangu ni tyg er Mnelewa una chochote cha kunambia you come we talk ingia ni comment ni DM I'll just get back to you nitakujibu kwa sababu that's what I do na mimi naamini kwamba nyinyi mpo na lazima tu tuwe pamoja kuweza kuendesha gudumu likaka katika sekta ambayo watu wengi wanapenda hiyo and plus uh, the covid 19 thing um uh, mimi nina 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 imani tofauti kidogo na watu wengine oh. yes kwa sababu Uh, Anza, when I'm Muslim or Christian? Mm. I'm a Christian who loves Muslims. Okay. Yeah. Kwa hiyo uh tukiongea swala la COVID-19 mimi nimekaa kwangu kiimani zaidi. Uh apart from kwenye kujiweka sawa na kufata taratibu ambazo wengine wanasema. Okay. With me ni kwamba uh mimi nina imani moja kwamba Mungu is the best people. Mungu ndo ndo, ndo ndo silaha kubwa zaidi kuliko chochote. Hmm. Na kama tungesema kwamba barakoa zinasaidia zina zinatibu watu basi wale utengeneza au wazungu wasingekufa kwa wingi kwa sababu ndo wameanza kuwa na barakoa okay. au sanitizer. Siamini kama kuna mswahili anajua kupaka sanitizer kuliko mzungu. Oh, na wazungu sure. wamekufa kwa wingi sana. Kwa mimi nafikiri kinachotofanya tu imara ukiacha tu kujiweka safe hmm. pia ni imani na Mungu kutupenda zaidi. So uh, mimi naamini Mungu akitaka nipate nitapata sipataka siwezi kupata. So mimi nafikiri barakoa and uh, sanitizer is the second thing lakini first thing kwanza ni prayer na kujiweka karibu na Mungu wako. That's the thing ambayo ningependa ku advise watoto sababu kataa kubali Mungu yupo na Mungu anakupenda sana. Tushushe kwa muziki kidogo. Tushushe kwa muziki kidogo Mungu yupo na ananipenda sana. Anajua na afya tele hey, kwa sababu amekwekea asas. So sasa kunywa asas na shauri ndugu na jamaa kunywa asas. Definitely. Oh yeah.
Assholes. Okay, my dear subscribers, our panel is Kuana, David D, P, N, and E. Each one is to focus on David Paul. He loves to laugh. Mushuki, no. Nani ni kumbusha? Mwaifugi ya tajimu. Okay. As. Mm. Nyakiusa. So, my name is Yvonne Musa Magesa. Unaweza ukakakaka na sisi network kama Daddy Face TV. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube kama Daddy Face TV. Pia, kwenye Instagram yangu unaenda pale kunifollow underscore last by underscore. Share na mimi kitu chochote. Unataka next kipindi cha my stories ni una msanii gani kuyo comment kipindi umekionaje but all in all covid 19 is still here cha, cha msingi kama alivyosema mgeni wangu hapa mr david kwamba mpende mungu kuwa na imani covid 19 itaendelea kuwepo just pray pray connect yourself na mungu and everything is not going to poor but Corona is still here. Stay safe, still cool. Epuka misongamano ambayo sio ya lazima. And that's it for today katika my stories. My name is Ivon Musa Magesa. Usisahau yogurt. Pia ukishuka kibanda cha chini ukimwambia mangi nataka yogurt ipo katika flavor ya kila aina. Kuna strawberry, kuna kama yangu hapa mix ni fruit, kuna vanilla ya mgeni wangu. David mimi ni fans wako and nitaendelea kwa fans na mba na katika ile siku ya ku lunch na your fans ni wewe po to share hata picha mbili tatu thank you so much my brother for your time and i really really appreciate when i'm more come out thank you much love to you as well so tonight bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.